Welcome to the Bearded BIOS. Today we're looking at the NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti leaks and the 5070 leaks uh, by Copite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, he is a well-known leaker and he is usually quite accurate. Um, we're getting all of our sources here just from videocards.com. Um, fantastic website, used it loads when I'm researching any of the NVIDIA stuff and it's usually fairly accurate. Um, just the headline here is both cars are to use at least 250 watts of power. We'll go into that as we go further into the video. Again, it's just going to be a short video and an overview. Um, so it's pretty much as big news for PC gamers. The specs of the NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti have just leaked and it looks like a serious upgrade, but is it actually worth the hype? Let's break it down in under five minutes here now. So. The exact release dates for the 5070 Ti and the 5070 are unknown at this stage. We don't know when they'll drop. I would say, and looking at this website, it probably the first quarter of next year, yeah. I'd say March, April time you'll find them probably dropping. Announced maybe in March, uh, out in April. Um, let's see, so the RTX 5070 Ti specification should now be finalized. And that's the card, yeah, in the next few weeks. Okay, so look, this is what you have here, the 5070 Ti. Um, you have a 300 watts power usage there. You are looking at a 8,960 CUDA cores, 256 bit GDDR7 memory with a 16 gigabyte capacity. So you've got 16 gigabytes of VRAM. I would say going forward in 2025, that should be your minimum baseline. I would not be getting a graphics card with less than 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, you will start to see them kind of get the VRAM get it up for the likes of like Indiana Jones recently that uses massive amounts of VRAM. So if you are purchasing a card, I would avoid the likes of anything less than 16 gigabytes. You can see from the leaks here as well, you've got 250 watts power usage for the 5070 and it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So 192 bit GD, GDDR7, 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Again, I would say that's probably not going to be worth getting in 2025. I would be avoiding anything less than 16 gigabytes. So, um, yeah, so 250 watts of usage. You also obviously have with the 50 chip, you have DLSS4 that has multi-frame generation and that seems to be their big sell on this car, at least this generation with Blackwell. Um, you can use multi-frame generation, however, I haven't fully tried and tested it yet, but a lot of people are saying that lossless upscaling app on Steam, I'll link it in the description, it actually can do more or less the same thing, or something very similar for, I think it's $7 USA, maybe £5.20 UK uh, pounds. Um, yeah, go check it out, I'll link it. Um, let's just look here now. Okay, yeah, so the 5070 series versus the 4070 series, so you've got 16.7% more of course, uh, for the TA variant, uh, you have 33% more memory capacity, 33% more memory clock, 77% more bandwidth, you have 5% more power usage. For that extra 15 watts, that's quite a good uplift in my opinion. The 5070 versus the 4070 is not just as impressive, so 4% more cores, don't have anything on the memory capacity there, um, or it's the same I should say. Um, memory clock is 33% more uh, than its predecessor and the bandwidth 33.3% more but at a cost of 25% more power consumption so 50 more watts again not as, imp as impressive and it's coming in at the 12 gigabytes of VRAM I would be avoiding. Um, scrolling on down okay so you have the there's the rumored uh, Blackwell specs so we obviously know the 5090 and the 5080 it's all confirmed and this is the full overview of the specs for the likes of the 5070 Ti and the 5070. It's not officially confirmed, but again, source copyright 7 kimi He is usually, or she, I think it's a he, um, he is usually on the money with this or very, very close, never far away. He has obviously a great source at NVIDIA. I don't believe it says here anywhere about the prices, but I think the speculation of the price from what I've read online again, I think, um, Overclockers3D.net. I'll link uh, the exact website. It is guesstimating that this is probably UK wise, and it was coming in around the 729, 749 pound mark for the 5070 Ti. I'm guessing the 5070 will be about 699, around that there, maybe 679, maybe a wee bit less, maybe 649. 
Um, I will be avoiding the 50 series. I think, to be honest with you at the moment, the way things are getting priced, you should be waiting two generations before you jump to get your money's worth. And I'm hoping that the 48 Super still, still will sell for half decent price in the used market coming when the 60 series drops. I'm getting ahead of myself with that, but yeah. Let me know what you think guys, um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to obviously like and subscribe, we're going to do more tech updates, we simple videos like this here, just looking at different sources of information and kind of seeing the latest of what's maybe leaking or what's coming out or what NVIDIA has planned, we'll be jumping on the different websites and seeing, so again thank you very much for watching.